Hello, today we're going to go over how to add a contact form uh, to your website and kind of like a light box window. It'll add a contact button to the left side floating here, um, kind of ver uh, vertically. Um, and if they click on it, it'll bring up a contact form for them. Just nice and easy, makes, them, makes it easier for people to uh, contact you. And then the tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials give you the keys to our presence, plenty of fast success. Plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. You can also sign up for our newsletter to get a, an alert about a new tutorial or just subscribe to this channel. All right, why don't we just get started? What you're going to do is go to the um, plugins, add new, uh, go to contact me. Oh, you're going to search contact me. Okay. So search contact me. Um, you want to download the one that is contact form by contactme.com. All right, install new. I also put a direct link where you can download this in the video description if you prefer to do it that way. Um, I also um, have a table of contents down there if you need to skip around or you've watched this video before and you're just kind of trying to get to a certain point, you can probably, that'll help. All right, next thing to do is go to settings. Uh, scroll down, should be right under settings. See, contact me form right there, right under permalinks. It was on mine. All right, so now, now you'll see that you need to have a contact me account set up. I already have one set up. So, what you'll do is um, go to this website, contactme.com, and then create an account, and then you'll see this window. All right, and then we'll we'll get into messing around with the form a little bit. And um, you know, it is free. You can upgrade to pro. Um, if you wanted to, otherwise you can keep the free account and uh, there's just a little branding on the form. The pro account is only about $4 a month if you're getting a lot of contacts through it or if you have a website that has high profile and you don't want to have some other companies branding on it, then you can also just pay for the, uh, the pro version. So what I'm going to do is just put in my, uh, my login information. All right, set this up. Okay. So now that I did that, I can choose my button text. I can choose the button color. Um, I can decide if I want it left. Yeah, look, left middle, I can put it on the right. So we'll go left middle. Um, enable contact page. No, I already have a contact page. English, save. Okay. Easy enough. Just wait for that to load. And then we'll take a look at how it looks. tab. You can see on the left I got contact right here. If they click on it, it brings up this cool little um, form, name, email, phone, and message. Uh, that was one big thing for me. It seems like a lot of these forms on WordPress, for some reason, they think we, uh, we, we as users only want the name, email, and message. Actually, the phone number is usually is very useful also. And this is that what I was talking about with the ad. Get your uh, free contact button now. So if you want to take that out, I'll just open it up in a new window. This is what you'll see. And obviously you can see pricing and the pro. This is free, uh, costs nothing. And um, you get to use it as long as you want. It's just in the beginning you get to use the, the pro one. All right, so let's go back. We can mess around with some of the settings. Maybe the button color, I'd rather have it be black. Some zeros there, and um, what else do I want my button text to be? Contact us is a little better than just contact, so let's see how that looks. There it is. So, obviously, it is a little bit blended into the background. So, don't, I'm not, I won't bore you guys spending a ton of time working on that. Um, if you want to customize the form more, uh, there's actually links right here. You can also look at your submissions. It will email you any submissions that come through this, but you can also look um, on their website. So let's go to customize the contact form. That'll just bring you right to the, the right page that you need to get to to start customizing your form. 
right, business name. So I'll put Pete now web design. Right. And before you go completely crazy, custom decking out the form with your logo and all that. Keep in mind it is your the, these fee, these options are only available because when you first sign up for the account, you get a 14-day trial period with for Pro. Once uh, Pro is removed, it would take your logo off and all that. So try to decide if, what you want to do with that. Um, you have your email that you want your form results to go to. You can add more contact information. You have your own, so you can put that in, and then it would show up probably right below compete right now right below your logo. Um, if your forms start getting hammered with spam, this is another big advantage of this plugin. Or yeah, this plugin in this form is um, it does have a spam filtering option. A lot of a lot of forms kind of um, skip that, so you can check that, and we'll add just type the verification. All right, so you can also manage the fields. So you can say message. You can add more fields. So I'll say text box title. I don't know profession. You can make it required or not required. All right, you can change the the order easily. Um, that's about it. So it's a very uh, very neat little thing to use. Um, these are the premium options. So remove the link. So kind of get an idea of how it would look without that link. Customize as a success message. So after the Submit it, they'll see, thank you, you must have been sent, we'll be in touch soon. Um, or you can send them directly to a separate URL. So you could get creative with the, with us and say, maybe use it as a way to you know download our free information packet. And once they fill out this form, it directs them to that URL. Um, but you know what I would do is just use the free one. Um, if it's effective for your business and you're getting, getting contacts through it and leads, and you want to really focus more on it, then it's probably worth upgrading to Pro. Uh, or if you just flat out don't want this, get your own contact form when somebody opens up your thing. I mean, I would be a little hesitant to to use this without doing the Pro because I don't I don't really want that link there coming up on there. I think it looks a little cheap. All right, so this is another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and email tutorials to give you the keys to your pro presence, please fast success. Plenty more on our website at startcompetent.com slash tutorials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. We usually, um, we typically upload a, a video every week.